Hey up lads and lasses, Danfire here, back again with another review for you today. We're going to be taking a look at Battleship Apollo by the developers Parallel Space Inc. Let's have a look at what they say about the game. 200 years have passed since the beginning of colonization and the events of Hades Star. The Hades galaxy is now more unstable than ever. Obsessed with being the first to uncover the deepest secrets of the universe, the corporations are spending vast resources to gain the slightest technological advantages. Massive battleships, bigger than anything seen before, are being built in shipyards all around the galaxy. As one of many battleship commanders, you have a critical role to play in the war ahead. So let's uh, get to it a little bit. Uh, straight off the bat, I'm going to just sit here and say I'm very disappointed in this game. I was expecting something closer to Hades Star, uh, and this is not that, uh, which is a shame. Uh, the reason Hades Star was so good was due to the strate strategic elements of it and, you know, building up your base and stuff like that. It gave the game, you know, a lot to go on, and it was a lot of fun, you know. But in this one, it is basically um, Clash Royale in space, pretty much. Uh, there is not much going on here, gameplay-wise, bar you're dropping stuff down. You know, you got cards basically that are attached to your battleship, and these spawn fighters. These fighters are your units, and you have spells as well. And what basically happens is. Uh, you drop some frigates down or fighters or something like that. The enemy counters and then they drop more. And yeah, it's it, it's basically the Clash Royale gameplay in space. It's uh, it's not particularly interesting or fun. I'd even go to say that Clash Royale itself actually has better gameplay than this. But to be fair, this game is in early access. The developers are playing around. There is a lot of balance issues at the current moment, but they are trying to fix all that. So, you know, hats off to the devs to sticking with it a little bit and trying to fix stuff. And I, I can see why they've released an early access version to uh, work on and get community feedback, which is also a nice thing. So the premises of the game is you are in this battleship. Uh, there is multiple different types, each with its own unique ability. Uh, so it's a set commander for each one, and they each have a passive ability. Uh, I, they might have active abilities later on, I don't know. I haven't unlocked all the battleships, but the two battleships that I do have, the starting one and the one up from that, have passive abilities. Uh, the starter, when you move, it gives you a damage reduction. Shield, um, it's kind of useless to be honest. Uh, you don't seem to be moving around that much. There is a uh, like a red ring that closes in on the system, forcing you to move out of that red ring and closer to the middle of the circle. But generally, uh, I, I don't find myself moving that much. I think that's due to the fact that it costs uh, this passive currency that you gain. And that passive currency you need to spend on your, your units. So if you're moving, you're not putting units down and you could potentially be at a disadvantage at that point. So it makes that first battleship pretty useless. Now, the second battleship, on the other hand, spawns car uh, fighters passively, so really, really useful. Uh, this means, you know, if you are moving around, you're still spawn it, spawning some of these uh, fighters, so that it instantly makes it slightly more aggressive, I guess, in that sense, and a little bit better. The... Well, the way this works is, um, so there are turrets on your ship. The idea is you're meant to kill the enemy battleship, uh, much like you kill the uh, crown tower uh, or the king towers in Clash Royale. And you just send units at it to kill it. And it, it's kind of disappointing this because, it, like I said, this is an early access. There is some balance issues uh, before. Uh, you could get enough fighters out that uh, your counter unit, which is the bombers, because they got AOE, uh, weren't good enough. Since this uh, review, though, uh, or since I've recorded this review, they have buffed the bombers so they can deal with these large swarms of units a bit better. Uh, but I have now started seeing other things pop up in the game instead. 
there is multiple modes and this is one of its uh, features that I actually really, really liked. And this changes on a time basis. So uh, after X amount of time, uh, you'll get a different mode. So you might be in a free for all. Uh, this used to be with six other ships, but now it's uh, one other enemy and an AI. Uh, there's a 2v2 mode where you have two player controlled ships on each team trying to kill each other. There's a siege mode. I quite like the siege mode. Uh, you have a base and you have to protect your base. And uh, there's a couple of other modes. So the, the modes actually, um, this is what really changes the game up a little bit for uh, for this from other, you know, Clash Royale style games. There's quite a few of these around now. But because it has this diversity in different modes and they are all in this ranked system, uh, it does make it a little bit more fun. There is the typical loot boxes, etc. in the game. And yeah, they just get you cards. You get enough cards, you can upgrade your uh, fighters and bombers and carriers and whatever else you're currently using. Uh, so you need to get a bit of luck there to try and get the things that you want. There is some interesting mechanics with some of these cards as well. For example, there is the basic fighter and that just exactly what it sounds like. It's just a basic fighter. It's cheap, cheerful, runs off, shoots other things. There is uh, things like stealth fighters though and they'll um, let things pass and can't be hit by anything unless they've got stealth as well, which is quite cool. And you have spells like the Meteor Shower. This is an AoE in an area that does a small amount of damage, usually enough to take out other fighters, though. So, you, as you can see, you know, it does kind of work the same. There are more specialized units. There's a carrier that you can spawn in, and that in turn spawns itself um, more fighters as it flies towards your enemy. Think the Witch from Clash Royale. And you have. Um, Things kind of like the giant from Clash Royale. I think it's called the Cerberus or something like that. And uh, that just flies towards the enemy, ignores all enemy fighters and bombers and whatever other ships they've got out and just starts dealing damage. It's got high HP and tanks the damage for the rest of your fleet. There are quite a few battleships available. Again, I've only unlocked two, but there are more uh, available, potentially with more to come. As I've mentioned, this is an early access game, so it's still in development. I find that the combat is a little bit too linear as well. Uh, basically, you keep doing battles until you unlock new modules or have enough credits to buy loot boxes and purchase uh, upgrade modules and stuff like that, which are on a daily rotation. Graphics are okay, they're that pixel style graphics that I seem to be reviewing a lot of at the current moment, but uh, yeah, they're, you know, they're sim they are simple and they look slightly uh, aesthetic to the game's style and type. So yeah, they're, they're not bad, they're not bad. Sound is not bad, the music's a little bit too loud, I can't seem to find anywhere in the settings to uh, reduce the sound of the music. Uh, I can turn it off or on, and it's loud. Um, just to note that I'm playing this on PC, it is stated to re release for iOS and Android, so uh, we may see it in the future. It does not work very well on a PC at all, I have to admit. It's quite clunky, uh, the abilities, now you have to drop things down. Uh, on mobile, I'd expect this to be considerably better, you know, swiping with your finger about and stuff like that makes a lot more sense with this type of game. The content is severely lacking though, in my opinion, even for an early ac access game. We've had about a full year of hype around this game being uh, stated to come out, and you've literally got the training missions. The rest of this campaign mode is not in the game at all. Not even the first, you know, start of the campaign is in this game as of this moment. Uh, again, it is an early access, but I was expecting maybe, you know, one or two parts of the campaign to be in at least so we could have a go at that. There is going to be a PvE element to the game, uh, but it's not currently in at all. What I also find slightly uh, weird is it's called Battleship Apollo and your battleship does very, very little in this game. L literally next to nothing. It's all about spawning these uh, fighters in 
and not much about your carrier. There is some turret upgrade system in the game, but I don't believe that's actually in the game and released as of yet. It does mean that your battleship can do very, very little, though it's kind of there with point defense weapons to take out other fighters. You can't take the battle to the enemy battleship with your battleship, which I think is a missed opportunity. Maybe that will come in future, um, future updates. But as of right now, uh, you are basically a carrier. At the moment, I can't recommend this game. Uh, I've had a few people trying it and all coming up with basically the same uh, ideas as me. It gets boring after about 10 minutes. And yeah, that's about it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Helps me out, helps the channel out. And I'll catch you guys next time.